Oh shit, okay. I have no idea who the fuck is. I guess he's just a football player. It's why is a football player walking through the ghost ship? I will say I do like this though. Nah, that's yep, that's Warzone. Oh, oh, okay. I fucked with this cutscene. I'm not gonna lie. That. I think they totally missed the mark. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, there's Michael. Minus one. Minus two. Minus three. He just killed him with a can. With a, okay. Is there anything else? That's it. I'm gonna be honest, that cutscene kind of sucked. I'm not gonna lie. It just, it literally just seems like they kind of wanted to, seems like they kind of wanted to just throw everything together and call it a day. Yeah, here it is. I finished pretty much the entire thing. I didn't do the bonus sector, which I don't care about. I didn't care about getting those really in the slightest. What's going on guys? My name is Dia and welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Season six is here and with it comes the brand new battle pass. The event, it's called the Haunting. They do the Haunting every year. It's probably one of the best times, if not the best time to play Call of Duty, just because of how much stuff goes on. Um, there's like four or five events going on before the end of the season as well. And then you can see right here, we'll have have Black Ops 6 in 35 days and the season doesn't end for 47 days so we can kind of this game will still be running for its final season a little bit after Black Ops 6 and we also have this Purgatory Island which is I presume you want to play Warzone and you get this camo I've seen it on Twitter it's animated it looks fucking gorgeous I might actually play Warzone to get this so we'll see and then we have the battle pass right here like I, for, I showed it in and not yesterday's video, but the day before. I apologize for not having a video yesterday. I came home and I was so exhausted that I literally couldn't, I could barely stay awake. I edited about 60 to 70% of a video in three hours. So I didn't really get much done, unfortunately, yesterday because I was just so tired. But I did buy the Black Cell like I do every single season. So we do have the Alone. We also have some blueprints and we have the DTIR 3006. I decided to go for this first because I'm looking forward to using this weapon much more than the LMG. The LMG looks nice, but I'm not, again, I plan to use the, uh, the DTIR 3006. Six, so that's what we're gonna be using in today's video. We also have the brand new weapon mastery camo. So if you get 150,000 EXP, you get one trick. Then 200k after that, you get molten obsidian. Then 250k after that, you get mercury. And then the 300k after that, constellations end, which I have the face stickers on here just because I like them. But this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna lie. It looks really nice, but really distracting, at least for me. But I'm gonna try and get it for at least a weapon before the game's over. Because I don't have any really cool camos. I'm just gonna run the reflect 115. I look, I think it's one of the best looking camos in the entire game we also have the brand new weekly challenges i didn't finish the weekly challenges of last season just because i couldn't be fucking bothered for the shit reward but we have this drawn and quartered camo it's animated it, i have no interest in getting it but i'm gonna try and get it anyways and then we have four weekly challenges we have the jack salvo the jack salvo shoots fucking rockets so we'll see how that goes when we grab that and also it's double exp which means i'm gonna be able to have i think three days to grind out as many levels as i can on my hopeful mission in quotes to get to max level as well as the levels for the new weapon we also have the brand new maps. We have Drive Through 24/7 and Ghost Ship 24/7. I said in yesterday in the last Call of Duty video, uh, Ghost Ship was the, the map I was looking forward to the most. So let's go ahead and just jump into that playlist. And I'm gonna play a couple matches while I talk about what I'm looking forward to this season and kind of what my goals are before Black Ops 6. So Black Ops 6 is, I think, the Call of Duty to make or break this franchise. Granted, yes, Call of Duty is a, as a franchise is very much. It's at a very pivotal point right now. It's been in a pivotal point for a couple years, and it does just enough right and just enough wrong to stay in this pivotal point right now anything that makes it go over either to the good or the bad side once it hits those marks i think it's gonna be really really rough I will also say that I think this Call of Duty was an insanely good step in the right direction. I think Black Ops 6 feels like this, but better. So I definitely, in my opinion, as someone who's been playing Call of Duty since the original Modern Warfare and World at War, this Call of Duty feels phenomenal to me. I really do feel like this is, we're going back in the step in the right direction because 2019 Vanguard, Modern Warfare 2, 2022 was not, were not three games I wanted to see. I didn't even buy and play Vanguard, which I mean, if Vanguard goes on sale, I will pro I'll pick it up and I'll do, cam I'll do campaigns for it. I plan to do at least the campaign on Modern Warfare Remastered. I want to do that around Christmas time, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And let's see, this thing's got 20 bullets in it. It's not leveled in the slightest. 
Holy shit. I, I can tell. I haven't played Call of Duty in... I haven't played Call of Duty in about maybe a week or so and i'm gonna say right now that instantly off the rip this map is not as dark as i thought it would be i really thought that it wouldn't be too much of an issue i will say though this lobby is pretty fucking annoying to play because of the amount of smokes that are going on right now i do not want to play a map that is this dark and having so many fucking smokes why are we throwing so many smokes i might outright just leave this lobby it's i don't think it's a map thing i think it's legitimately like the lobby itself is just i don't know why are we throwing so many smokes i want to play probably one or two matches on this map and then i want to play some on drive through I mean, for having 20 rounds, this thing is shooting decently quick. It feels really nice, too. This thing 100% needs an extended mag on it. 20 rounds? This feels really nice for 20 rounds, but fuck, man. 20 rounds on shipment is not fun. Like, especially with how inaccurate I am. I'm dropping 20 rounds for a kill. I will also say that getting hit by this thing, at least, like, I haven't, I haven't got any, like, attachments or anything, and I assume people aren't using, like, recoil-inducing attachments either. But, like, getting hit by this thing, you don't really... Your screen doesn't jump, like, at all. It doesn't move for shit. Dude, this smoking smoke shit is so annoying. He's looking, he's looking, he's looking. They already shot down my helicopter. I swear, running airstreaks, like running a chopper or anything like that, is just so pointless. Such a bitch! This guy just sat in- wait, I'm gonna shoot his fucking body when I kill him. Dude, I'm gonna shoot this kid's body so fucking hard. Literally just sat and fucking waited. Didn't want to move for shit. Awful player. Fucking garbage. I also do have some attachments, so I'm gonna definitely stick a sight on this. Uh, we got a barrel. Sure. 40 round mag. Holy shit. And then a sprint the fire. Honestly, the attachments we have for this thing already don't make it too fucking bad. Like, all honesty, they just don't. They actually turned into a really good gun, I think. I can get more than one kill before I have to fucking reload. I will say though, mag holster does feel like a fucking necessity now in Call of Duty. A lot of people run like all the, you know, survive, like a flak jacket and everything, but oh wow, they have fucking 4,000 trophy systems up. Oh my! I just ran past the guy. Holy shit! Holy shit. Yeah, the map feels super nice. Like, I'm not even joking. I really like this aesthetic. Like, this is how I wish it was done. Like, and I'm glad they're, like, essentially, in my opinion, they're doing it right. I mean, 71 and 53. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I'm happy with that. But fuck, this gun is nice. This gun feels so fucking good. It is amazing. I'm really happy that there's a DLC weapon. Guy just said I play- I, I suck. Yet this fucking guy is camping corners on shipment and not challenging. You play like a grandma on the fastest map in the game. Did I get anything? I'm one kill off of finishing that. I need 50 kills off in fully auto, so I just need another 50 kills. And it hits level 9. 10 kills on any scope. It has a red dot, so when I get to level 14, that'll be done. And headshot. So I just have to use the gun. So you just use the gun, and I'll- I mean, I could get the gold done. Yeah, I mean, I can- I just have to use the gun, and I'll just naturally get the, the challenges done. What did he just kill me with? Death drop? It's a variant? Holy shit. Nice.
72 and 37. I feel like I did worse that game, but apparently not. Yeah, the map feels great. I'm having a lot of fun. I enabled the jump scares at the beginning and I didn't get a single one. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing something certain to get one of them, but I didn't get any of them at all. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's, I, I gotta do something other than play the game, but I didn't get any jump scares and that's kind of disappointing. That's season six for you. Overall, I mean, not really much to say. We got a bunch of new shipment variants. Hopefully we'll just get a shipment playlist and we'll have all the variants in there. It's hopefully be a lot of fun. Ghost Ship is definitely better than I thought it would be, which is awesome. I'll probably play drive through in another video just because I'm going to be spending probably the entire weekend in Ghost Ship just so I can, you know, grind out some EXP. I mean, I went up three levels in 30 minutes. So thank you guys for hanging out. Really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. It really helps the channel grow. It also meant to know that you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, this is Gia signing off for a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.